Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Gemini November 3rd, 2022. The moon is in your sign all day, pulling up emotions that demand some attention. At the same time, there is great energy for you today to sink your teeth into a unique project or, more simply, to get things done. Putting effort into a relationship or creative pursuit can be especially appealing and worthwhile. Your focus and concentration improve, and you might revive an old interest or pastime. There's a decidedly self-contained, directed, and independent energy to you right now, and it's attractive. A moderate approach to people and your goals is ideal now. The universe is encouraging you to review important life lessons about your past. This is because majestic Jupiter, our great benefic, continues his back crawl through the seas of water sign Pisces. During this time, you're being offered a boon from the universe to review and reflect on your personal or romantic life. If you'd like to reunite with a soulmate from the past, regardless if it is to rekindle a rapport or just find closure, do so now. The magic of the moment is something that will not come again for nearly 12 years after it leaves. Who were you and who do you want to be? Your professional identity is subject to moving in a new direction if you are ready to shed whatever is not working during the first quarter moon in your sign. However, you will need to release any insecurities or doubts about who you are as a professional. Doing so will require tremendous confidence on your end, so use this lunation to own who you want to be moving forward. When you are ready, take action to embrace your most authentic self. In the lead up to the moon's return to your income sector tomorrow, this is an important point in any month for having your antennas up. While this will be an ordinary monthly visit, as the first since Jupiter retrograde back in and the only visit while Venus, the planet of money is in your career sector will come with a timely sense of where the money is. So many ideas so little time. You will feel lightheaded these days with the current influence from the planetary alignment. And off you go, on to other realms besides this earthly existence. There is exquisite energy to be gleaned from journeys of the spirit, but the effect is only as good as your physical condition. Ground yourself during this special time with a diet that includes fresh meals made with seasonal vegetables. Earthy produce for a healthy mind. Get out your building supplies. It's a one day, and there's plenty to get started on. Even if you don't have skyscrapers in your immediate plans, new projects are waiting. Take the initiative to talk with colleagues and partners to see about turning some of your ideas into reality. On the romantic level, consider taking someone new out, or trying something completely different with your partner. You'll both enjoy a fresh take on things. Even takeout from a new restaurant can spice things up, so go for it. The moon might return to Aquarius every four weeks and this is a valuable chance to check in, but especially this first visit since Saturn's direct turn here ten days ago. Their alignment today gives you a feel for where to from here, having had time to adjust to the focus now being on the road ahead rather than on the road behind. However, there is one exception, with the moon's friendly aspect to Mars in his early days in retrograde motion in an adventurous part of your chart revealing the doors open to the past and second chances on the adventurous front. As the moon makes its monthly visit to Aquarius, a friendly aspect to Mars just days after his retrograde turn in your romantic sector is an early window into the doors this has opened to the past and second chances. This first visit since Saturn turned direct in Aquarius is a chance to look to the future but with a brand new sense of romantic nostalgia in the air. Our eyes in the sky. Today brings many elements of surprise as the Scorpio sun squares off with the Aquarius moon. This can cause some upheaval on numerous levels, especially in relationships. The theme of the day centers around partnerships and those who mirror us on a soul level. The Scorpio influence commands us to dive deep into our psychological wounds, and the second quarter moon washing through Aquarius helps purge them. There is a feeling of being supported on an emotional level, despite how vulnerable the healing process makes us feel. You are not alone, even if it feels at times like you're the only one in the room. 
Saturn in authoritarian Aquarius doesn't let up on you mentally. There could be many challenges that require careful analysis. In fact, you could be way too hard on yourself now, because the cosmos encourages you to weigh every situation, making it tough to make any decisions. Remember that you know what's best for you. Especially as the magnetic sun-moon square kicks up the dust and sends you in a totally different direction. Be prepared for some unexpected news that could have you jumping into new experiences almost instantly. In a case of perfect timing, the moon not only returns for its first visit to your relationship sector since Jupiter retrograde back in for a rare double-dip visit but straight into a friendly aspect to Mercury, just days after the planet of communications returned to your communication sector. Mercury has joined the Sun and Venus, who have already begun a mission to get the communication lines open and especially on the relationship front. This is the start of a partnership between the communication and relationship gods that will deepen over the coming days and weeks. The moon not only returns for its first visit to your relationship sector since Jupiter's return last week but straight into a friendly aspect to Mercury, just days after the planets return to your communication sector. This is just a taste of things to come, with some defining days and weeks coming up on the communication and relationship fronts. In the morning, the moon squares off with Venus, making it difficult to negotiate our needs and desires. On the one hand, we're inclined to group settings now. Under the Aquarius moon, we benefit from drama-free experiences with friends who stretch our minds but don't force us too far into emotional territory. On the other hand, Venus in Scorpio pitches us into the deep end of the relational pool, where intimacy is a given. We may struggle between the urge to keep things light and the compulsion to steamroll another's boundaries. Reconciling these two extremes can get a bit dicey. Yet, it may also make us aware that certain relationships aren't as simple and straightforward as we initially presumed them to be. Following this, the moon sextiles Chiron in Aries, smoothing over some of the tension prompted by the moon-venus square. We may now realize that challenges we face with friends, family members, or partners are indicative of history repeating. We are encouraged to retrace old footsteps and to course-correct regrettable past behaviors. In this way, uncomfortable moments serve as opportunities for healing.